Hey everybody, this is Enoch from businessofarchitecture.com and I just got an email from a friend of mine who had just installed WordPress on his computer, on his hosting account, and was feeling a little overwhelmed about how to use WordPress. So I thought I'd take this chance to do a quick run through of a WordPress installation and show you how to quickly set up an architecture website uh, with WordPress. So what I'm going to show you here on the left hand side is the window where I'm going to pull up my new WordPress installation and my my web page and on the right hand side this is my control panel of my web host when you sign up for a web host you're going to get a control panel they all look similar this one's through Bluehost which is a great place to host your your website and that's what cPanel stands for it just means control panel so in the control panel we're going to ignore all of these other buttons that we see here have nothing to do with what we want to do today and we're going to look for our simple scripts installations under Simple Scripts Installations, you'll either see a WordPress logo or you might not see the Simple Scripts, you might just see the WordPress logo. Anyway, either way, click on the WordPress logo and this is going to take us to the page that will allow us to install WordPress on our hosting account. As you can see here, I have all my WordPress hosting, all my these are all my WordPress installations here. And if we scroll down to the bottom, it says install a brand new version or import. We're going to go ahead and install a brand new. Import is if you already have a WordPress account. Go and install a brand new version. Now I'm going to set this up on enixsears.com and I'm going to make the folder for it. Let's go ahead because I already have uh, another installation set up on enixsears so I'm going to do a little subfolder. We'll call it demo slash business of architecture. I'm going to go ahead and click the advanced options. Right here we can tell it what to call it. So I'm going to say demo business of architecture and we'll leave all this other stuff blank here now under step 3 plugins and themes I'm gonna go ahead and deselect these we don't need these themes these are installed by Bluehost I'm gonna go ahead and step number four check the checkbox to agree to the terms and conditions click complete now what the web host is doing here behind the scenes is installing WordPress and I have my little status bar going up here and it's installing it to my demo site. So what you see here is our four things. The first thing is the site URL. This is the location of my new blog. So let's go ahead and copy that. We'll just paste that on over here. And there it is. So this is what you first see when you install WordPress. Now I haven't done anything here except for choose the name of my site. So this is the plain vanilla sort of information that comes in when you install WordPress. Over here on the left on the right hand side, excuse me, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this password. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the login URL. So I'm gonna log into the back end of my WordPress site that I just installed. Go ahead and paste that password in here. Alright, now it takes me to my dashboard. And dashboard is behind the scenes where I can modify what my web page looks like. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to get rid of the posts on my home page. I don't really want to have blog posts on my home page. I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to show you how that works. Over here on the left hand side are your menu options that allow you to access all the functionality of WordPress. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new post by clicking on posts, coming under here, add new, I'm going to go ahead and add a new post. Let's call it post number one. Test post one. All right. Go and publish that. Okay, I'm going to add another post. Test post two. Now, the reason why I'm doing this, I just want, you, if you're not familiar with this, I just want you to see how the posts work. So that's why I'm doing this and what's going to happen on my on my home page with the default WordPress installation. So now I have two test posts and that's good enough for our purposes. We'll come back over here to the left hand side and refresh. And then what WordPress has done is automatically shown my latest posts on my website. So WordPress is set up just by standard default to be used as a blog but it does offer obviously the ability to be able to use it as a static web page and that's what I'm going to show you here. So we want to get rid of these blog posts and just do a static web page. So to do that I have to click over here on the left hand side of my WordPress installation on pages. If I click on all pages it shows me that I already have a sample page that's already set up. I'm going to click to add a new page. 
we're going to call this our home page. So I'm going to say Enix. Oh, that's me, by the way. Enix home page. And say, you know, this is a test of my home page for my new website. Okay. Let's go ahead and publish that. Okay, let's refresh over here on the left hand side to see what happened. All right, so what WordPress did automatically, it automatically added a new link to that page I just made. So Enix homepage. Now let's say I wanted to call that um, Enix Architecture. You know, it's, so I'm an architecture firm. So I say, okay, let's update that. And then it changed the name of that web page. Now as you can see, it didn't change my home page. What it did is it gave me a link to my new page that I made. So if I click on that, it takes me to the Enix Architecture page. But what I want is I want to have that Enix Architecture page be the very first page that someone sees when they visit my site. So to do that, I'm going to come back over here to the right hand side in my dashboard. I need to scroll down to the settings menu under WordPress. And under settings, and click that. I'm going to go ahead and click reading. The setting we're looking for is under reading. Now under reading, there's an option that says front page displays. And it gives us two options. Number one, our latest posts. And you can see by default that it's set to show our latest posts. I'm going to switch it to the second option, which is a static page. So when I click a static page, it allows me to choose which page I want to have as my home page. I'm going to call it Enoch Architecture, the page I just made. So as you can see, it's giving the options of the web pages that we already made. So if you want to make more web pages, you have to come back over here to Pages and Make More, and then you'll have more available to choose from. So let's go ahead and do it Enoch Architecture, and then we'll save changes to that. I'm going to go ahead and refresh over here on the left-hand side, and voila, there we go. So Enoch Architecture is my new, you know, right here I could say a little introduction to my firm. I have my home page. So now this is set up to not show blog posts. It's set up to show a static home page. Okay. So let's go ahead and one thing I'm noticing about this is that the comments are showing up. Leave a reply. Now I don't really want to have comments on the home page of my website. I don't really like the look and I'm going for an architect's website here. So I'm going to go ahead and disable that. And the place we have to do that is back over here on the left hand side under the pages that we just made. We need to go back to our home page we just made. So I'll come back over to the Enoch Architecture page. I'm going to click Edit. And to turn off comments I need to add another menu. Up here in the upper right hand side there's a button called Screen Options. And what WordPress does is it automatically hides some of the options over here to not confuse us with too much information we don't need. So if I click on Screen Options I'm going to turn on the Discussion menu. And see as soon as I click that it gave me another option down here. It gave me this Discussion menu. And under the Discussion menu there's a little checkbox that Allow Comments. If I uncheck that it will disallow comments for my home page. So I'm going to go ahead and click update. Come back over to the left hand side, refresh this. And now it has disabled the comments. Okay. So now what we have is we have a, a website that that gives us a static home page. No blog posts here. And if we want to add sub pages to our website, we do that by adding pages. So let me show you for example, here's our sample page. Now this has comments. We can turn that off easily like we just learned. The place to modify this sample page would be back over here under All Pages. Under Sample Page, we'll click Edit. Let's turn off Discussions so or Comments. So we'll click Comments Off. And say the sample page is, say this is a little sub page where we're talking about residential architecture. So let's rename it Residential. Let's just call it Residential. And we'll go ahead and update that on the left hand side. There, now we have a new little sub-page called Residential. Let's say that under Residential, let's say we wanted to add another page showcasing some of the, our mountain homes that we've done. So let's go ahead and we're going to add a new page. And this is how we start to add pages, is, is just over here in WordPress by adding, adding pages. <laughs> I guess that's kind of self-explanatory. So let's go ahead and let's say Mountain Oh, if I could spell Mountain Homes, we'll add that. And this is a portfolio section for my Mountain Homes. All right. 
Okay, we're going to go ahead and disallow comments on this one because it's a page. And there's another thing I'm going to do here on the right hand side under parent. I'm going to change this, I'm going to make this um, a child of the residential page. Doing that will allow this page to be on a submenu of residential. So I'll go ahead and refresh this. And now if I hover over residential, it gives me mountain homes. So I would click on this and then it takes my mountain homes page. And I think I think that's enough. I think that that'll get you started. To add more pages, you're just going to add more pages. And let me, let's say we wanted to add, let's add a new one. Let's call this one commercial. Okay. Commercial portfolio. We'll go ahead and publish that. And update over here. And then voila, we have another item. Now that's, that's a brief little introduction. If you have any questions, please email me, enoch at businessofarchitecture.com, and I'd be glad to help you out. Thanks for watching.